Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to capture a little bit more dynamic range with your Sony digital cameras for better and easier color grading in your videos. Now I'm specifically using the Sony A55, but this will apply to all the other camera models as well. What you see here is the standard unedited video shot out of the camera. And if you're standing here in person, you could tell that these hills are actually very, very evenly lit, although the camera is over contrasting it a little bit as basically any camera would. But overall the dynamic range is fine for the most part. Until you want to try and color grade it, there really isn't much room to do anything. Especially if you look over here to something like this hill. As soon as I start uh, adding any contrast, the shadows in that hill are going to be lost and the highlights are going to be blown out. This happens all the time when filming people on a bright day like today. And you can't add any contrast because this side of my face will be crushed with the shadows and this side of my face will be blown out with the highlights. So you're pretty much stuck with whatever the camera records. So here's how to put a little bit more of that dynamic range back into your video. Now, as you probably know, cameras can shoot with different picture styles. Sony calls it the creative style, but it's the same thing. So go to the creative style, and I was previously shooting on standard, but you'll notice that there's a list of different things for you to choose from. Things like vivid, landscape, and sunset add a lot more contrast, and sunset even adds a whole bunch more color toning and warm tones to your image. Standard and portrait overall have the least amount of contrast. Now with each one, you'll notice that you can adjust the contrast, the saturation, and the sharpness to plus three or minus three. Now, portrait out of all of them at contrast minus three is going to give you the most dynamic range. So to compare them, here's standard again. This is portrait. Here's standard at minus three contrast. Saturation is at zero. And here's portrait at minus three contrast. Saturation, again, at zero. Here's standard at minus three contrast and minus three saturation. And finally, here's portrait at minus three contrast and minus three saturation. What you had seen before was standard footage. Now the camera's set at portrait minus three contrast. You can actually see a little bit more detail in the shadows of my face, as well as the highlights. So my recommendation is to shoot in portrait mode at minus three contrast and either minus one or two saturation. The difference is pretty minute, but it'll at least give you a little bit more room to work with, with a little bit more dynamic range and more of a flat image, rather than something that's already very contrasted and very vivid that you really can't work with at all. So hopefully you learned something from this video, hopefully it helps you out. Thank you guys for watching.